The alewife is a species of herring that can be found in the western North Atlantic Ocean, typically from Nova Scotia to South Carolina. Landlocked populations have been established in several Atlantic coastal states and in the Great Lakes. Some coastal lakes have naturally landlocked alewife populations, but most inland populations were introduced. The body of the alewife is compressed laterally with a sharply forked tail and an upturned mouth. The top of the body is green-gray in color and silver on the sides. The fish have a series of modified scales along their underside that are spiny. They prey on small fish, copepods, and small shrimp. Since the alewife is a small schooling fish, it is preyed upon by many species of fish and other animals including species of high economic value such as striped bass. Many alewives are anadromous, meaning that they migrate between fresh water and salt water to complete their life cycle. They spawn in a diversity of habitats, including large rivers, small streams, ponds, and large lakes, over a wide range of substrates such as gravel, sand, and submerged vegetation. Mature alewives broadcast their eggs and sperm simultaneously into the water over the substrate. Females can lay thousands of eggs. Immediately after spawning, adults migrate rapidly downstream. The eggs hatch in a few days, and the juvenile fish occupy freshwater habitats for several months before migrating to the sea. Juveniles feed mostly on zooplankton. The alewives mature in the ocean. Ocean adults that have reached maturity after a few years or so return to spawn in the streams of their birth in the spring. Alewives can reach a maximum length of 12 to 16 inches long. Alewife populations are considered depleted on the east coast. Alewives can be difficult to distinguish from the very similar looking blueback herring. However, the alewife body is less elongated and more strongly compressed. Landlocked alewife populations are able to complete their entire life cycle in freshwater and are usually considered invasive. The fish are prolific and can rapidly increase their population size when introduced to new waters. Because landlocked populations have a tendency to overgraze zooplankton, they can cause adverse environmental impacts to water quality, as well as to the growth and survival of the young of other fish species. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.